Risk, Reward, and Expectancy. In this video, you will learn Risk-Reward Ratios, Trading Expectancy, Break-Even Points. The risk-to-reward ratio shows how much money you are risking versus the potential reward on a trade. While this may seem simplistic, many traders neglect to take this step and often find that they end up with large losses. In order to attain the risk-reward of a trade, both the risk and profit potential of a trade must be defined by the trader. Risk is determined using a stop-loss order. Reward is determined using a take-profit order. A stop-loss order is designed to limit an investor's loss on a position in a security. A profit target is used to establish an exit point should the trade move favorably. Let's say you have a possible double bottom and want to buy the euro with the following parameters. Entry level at 1.15. Stop loss level at 1.14. Take profit level at 1.1650. You are risking 100 pips to make 150 pips. That's a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. In other words, you are risking one unit in search of a potential reward 1.5 times the risk involved. The same would apply in the case of buying any other asset. Let's look at a few examples of risk to reward ratios. If the risk is $200 and the reward is $400, dividing 200 by 400 gives a risk reward ratio of one to two. If the risk is $500 and the reward is $1,500, dividing 500 by 1,500, then the risk reward ratio is one to three. If the risk is $1,000 and the reward is $500, dividing 1,000 by 500, then the risk-reward ratio is 2 to 1. Outlining the risk to reward of a strategy can help traders better understand the accuracy needed, which can be used to optimize money management for the chosen trading method. Now that we understand the risk to reward ratios, we can discuss trading expectancy. Expectancy is the average amount you can expect to win or lose per dollar at risk. Mathematically, it is defined as the probability of win times the average win minus the probability of loss times the average loss. For example, say that a trader has a system that produces winning trades 30% of the time and losing trades 70% of the time. The average winning trade gives a profit of $1,000 while the average losing trade is $200. Putting the numbers in the formula, we find an expectancy of $160. He is expected on average to make a profit of $160 per trade. So even though this system produces losing trades 70% of the time, the expectancy is still positive and thus the trader will make money over time. We can also see how you could have a system that is accurate the majority of the time, but have a negative expectancy. If the average loss was large enough compared to the average win. In this example, the trader has a system that produces winning trades 80% of the time and losing trades 20% of the time. The average winning trade gives a profit of $200, while the average losing trade is $1,000. Putting the numbers in the formula, we find an expectancy of minus $40. He is expected on average to make a loss of $40 per trade. Even though the system produces winning trades 80% of the time, the expectancy is negative and thus the trader would lose money over time. Any method that has a positive expectancy will make money in the long run, while any method that has a negative expectancy will lose money. When the expectancy is zero, the trader will be at break even. For example, using a risk to reward ratio of one to 0.25 would imply that we need 80% accuracy to be at the break even level that is, to have an expectancy of zero. A risk-to-reward ratio of 1 to 1.5 would equal 40% accuracy to be at the break-even level. A risk-to-reward ratio of 1 to 4 would require only 20% accuracy to be at the break-even level. The interesting thing is that most of us would feel better with a system that produced more winning trades than losing. The vast majority of people would have a lot of trouble with a low accuracy system 
because of our natural tendency to want to be right all of the time. Yet we can see by the previous examples that the percentage of winning trades is not the most important factor in building a trading system. While accuracy is important in trading, any conversation about accuracy must also include the concept of expectancy. In our next video, we will talk about trader psychology. Thank you for watching.